Glory to God. Glory to God. Good morning, everyone. I am Brandy. I'm back to read the word of God. I am in Matthew 23. Verse 1, it says, Then Jesus spoke to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Therefore, whatever they tell you to observe, that observe and do, but do not do according to their works, for they say and do not do, for they bind heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers, but all their works they do to be seen by men they make hallelujah wow they make their phylacteries broad and enlarge the borders of their garments they love the best places at feasts the best seats in the synagogue Greetings in the marketplace and to be called by men, rabbi, rabbi. But you do not be, hallelujah, but you do not be called rabbi for one is your teacher, the Christ. And you are all brethren. Do not call anyone, hallelujah, on earth, your father. For one is your father, he is in heaven. And do not be called teachers. For one is your teacher, the Christ. But he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whoever exalts himself will be humbled. And he who humbles himself will be exalted. Verse 13 of 23 Matthew but woe to the to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither go in yourselves, nor do you allow those who in, who are entering to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses, and hallelujah for and for a pretense pretense make long prayers. Therefore, you will receive greater condemnation. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you travel land and sea to win one proselyte. Proselyte, I'm sorry. And when he is one, you make him twice as much a son of hell as yourselves. Woe to you. Hallelujah. Blind guides who say, whosoever swears by the temple, it is nothing. But whoever swears by the gold of the temple, he is obliged to perform it. Fools and blind, for which is greater, the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold. My God. And whoever swears by the altar, is it nothing but whosoever swears by the gift that is and that is on it and whoever swears by the altar is it nothing it is nothing i'm sorry it is nothing but whoever swears by the gift that is on it he is obliged to perform it fools and blind for which is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift Therefore, he who swears by the altar, swears by it, and by all things on it. And uh, he who swears by the temple, swears by it, and by him who dwells in it. And he who swears by heaven, swears by the throne of God, and by him who sits on it. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees! Hypocrites, for you pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, glory to God, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, 
justice and mercy and faith. These you ought to have done. You ought to have done the justice. You ought to have done the mercy. You ought to have done the faith without leaving the other undone. Blind guides who strain out, oh my God, strain out a net and swallow a camel. My God, woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean, cleanse the outside of the, of the cup and the dish, but inside, glory to God, they are full of extortion and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisees first cleanse inside. Hallelujah, the cup and the dish, that the outside of them may be clean, clean also. Woe to you, scribe and Pharisees, hypocrite, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which indeed appear beautiful outwardly, but inside are full of the of dead men's bones and uncleanness. Even so, you also outwardly appear righteous to men, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe! To you, scribe and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the monuments of the righteous and say, if we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would we would not have been partakers with them in the blood. Hallelujah of the prophets. Therefore, you are witnesses against yourselves that you are the sons of those who murdered the prophets, spiritually and naturally. Fill up then the measure of your father's guilt. Fill up then the measure of your father's guilt. Serpents, brood of vipers, how can you escape the condemnation of hell? Therefore, indeed, I send you prophets, wise men and scribes, some of them, you will kill and crucify, and some of them you will scourge in the church, in your synagogues, and prosecute them from city to city, that you, that on you, that on you may come all the righteous blood, all the righteous blood shed on the earth, from the blood of righteous, of righteous Abel, to the blood of Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar. My God. Uh, surely I say to you, all these things will come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets, and stone those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate, for I say to you, you shall see me no more. Till Till you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Wow, that was the last, glory to God, that was the last uh, verse of Matthew 23. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I hear Father God, we've got to be careful. Hallelujah. Not to murder his true prophets. Not to murder those that he sent. Hallelujah to his church to speak thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Because when you when you're murdering them, you're actually killing his word. Because his word, he speaks his word through his prophets. His prophets are, has has his 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 voice. And so he they're speaking what God is telling them to speak. And when you won't allow them to speak, you're murdering them. Thus shutting off the will of the Father. My God, bless us, God. Bless us to understand who your people are. Let us not disrespect your, your, your prophets. 
and those that have your voice, that those that, hallelujah, are yielded to you in the realm of the spirit through holiness. Hallelujah. I ain't talking about them false prophets, the prophets of Baal. I'm not talking about them. And that's another thing. We need to see who the prophets of Baal are in this very hour and season. Hallelujah. Versus the prophets from the most high God from holiness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for the reading of your word. Your word is blessed. Your word is true. And your word is magnified in our life today. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I'll be back with 24. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you guys. Have a good one.